Okay, welcome back. This is um, part two of my three-part haul for the for this weekend. Um, if you haven't already watched it already, uh, part one is all about the media. Part two is all about everything else I picked up today, and part three is about the stuff I picked up from free of charge um, from the baby show we went to yesterday for looking at my wife's new business and also um, look into a new app what got launched for selling on Friday with an interview coming on Monday at some time with, with the developers. So let's see what I picked up for the second part of the haul. Yeah, so um, as you see there, we had a, quite a big a plush day today, sort of coming over there. So we'll go through them at the back, for, I'll go through the stuff at the front first, and I'll go through the plushes at the back afterwards. So um, one of the things I picked up was, I'm, I'm trying to give you some different things um, on the stall. It was a dirty old tatty looking um, digital, Goodman's digital radio and um, normal FM tuner. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. Um, they wanted like £10 for it and I said, well, look at the condition of it. I'll give you £3 um, to take a punt on it. I've just plugged it in just now. The tuner works for the normal radio on there. The DAB couldn't find any channels, but I've just had BBC Radio 2 playing for the last sort of 20 minutes um, through DAB, which is pre-programmed in. So need to look into it a little bit more to see why I can't program any new channels in, but the DAB radio is actually working. I haven't tested the um, um, this yet, because I need to, it's a bit grubby in that, I just need to clean it up. But if not, I'll go with spares. Um, if, if I get it working, I'm going to be selling at about £16, plus postage, there's no remote control. I did notice as well, that was broken. Yeah, I'm going to clip, crimp that. Might not even be the original one, I'm not, yeah, it looks like it. Let's give it a crimp, see if I can get it crimped in, but it did work over there. So that's that. Um, I'll move that out of the way, actually. Um, it comes batteries as well as mains power, so that's why I quite like the look of it um, on there. Um, picked up the climbing harness. Um, if you're not into rock climbing and that sort of stuff, this is probably an area to stay clear of, mainly if you don't know how to check them for serviceability. Um, sort of on the Oysterbeer Climbing Instructor um, for, for Kingswood. Also run my own business teaching climbing and I'm also SPA um, sort of trained uh, trained as well. Yeah, so I know what I'm looking at when I'm looking through the harnesses um, just to te test them for stress and that sort of stuff. And also my mate works for Cotswold Outdoors so we can put it through a few tests as well. The last thing you want to do is sell a piece of safety equipment um, used and say it's perfectly well. Someone ends up falling and it fails on them. Yeah, so... Um, it is one of those funny areas. Um, you can get away, sort of going through, but I'm not going to go through how to test them or check them because I don't want that hanging on me if someone looks at my videos how to do it. But I know what I'm looking for. I pay two pounds for this harness. Uh, I've just checked it for the for the Ram series. For the is they sell these new seventy between fifty and seventy pound new. Um, this one is in very very mint condition. So, um, looks like it's only ever been used once. Um, I spoke to the seller, they said they bought it for their son, but he didn't like it, didn't like climbing. So um, everything's good, so I'm going to aim for £30 for this. Yeah, between £25 and £30. Comes with carabiners and that and stuff as well. And things are still tagged and that inside. Um, bop it, I've got quite a few boppets now sitting stored up. Um, pink bop it, I haven't tested it yet, but no batteries inside it. Was flat, but um, seemed to be work, good work in order. I paid a pound for this one. I don't have a pink one yet. I've just sold a black one for fifteen pound. So um, hopefully this will go roughly the same sort of price. Um, a couple of the Bob the Builder toys. I'm just trying this out at the moment. I'm testing, I'm buying a few up just to see if I can sell them as a job lot. I paid a pound each for these two. So we've got Dizzy the cement mixer and Lofty the cr crane. I'm sort of on there. Um, it's meant to say stuff when you push the button, but it's not pushing it. So I think there's those little watch batteries. So I'm going to take it apart, put it back together again. Um, sort of on there, she said. Yeah. Yeah, so she's, that, that sort of works on there. Yeah, so. Yeah, you probably need to look at it a little bit better. I'll see if this works. No. 
some reason it's not working on that, but it doesn't seem to work, so I need to do a little bit more work on it. Get that up and running, pay a pound each of them. Risk 1985 edition. This is just this is when they went to plastic and just before they went and got all their um other things. I opened it up there. Um, he wanted a pound for this, and I saw I was like, oh look at these. Um, two of the packs are still are still sealed. So in, well, yeah, and the green one. Yes, the black and green are still sealed. Everything seems to be there. It's got his 14 mission cards and that. I've seen these. I've seen these sell for fifty pound um, in the past. They're actually only selling for about fifteen pound at the moment. Um, but I'm pitching mine at forty pound. I'm going to just wait out and see what happens. I've got any board games so I can sit around and wait to see if that goes. If not, I'll drop it down afterwards. Um, this was a charity shop haul find um, yesterday. Picked it up for two pound. It's a quick can communicate. Didn't realise there was three more after this, so this one's actually not worth that much. I got it for fifteen pound. Um, if it was a pro, it'd be about thirty pound. So I got this for fifteen pound. And then we've got our plushes. So the first one to start off with are these ones. Um, these are A and A. Um, what are they? I just blanked it now. Disney. A and A Mil Milan. Yeah, and 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 Shepherd. So they sell, these ones sell when they're new and tagged for around about £10 a bear, um, sort of around there, and um, that's each. I've, I'm gonna, I've am got all four in lovely, lovely condition, but they don't have their tags on them. So um, they've got beans in the bottom of the feet, they're really, really soft, they're called cuddly leaves. Yeah, they're called um, Disney cuddly plushes, um, actually, because they are really, really soft, um, sort of around there. Um, so I'm probably going to look at about £25 for all four of them, plus shipping. Um, we paid a pound each for them. Yeah, so all I tell you is we roughly paid a pound each for them today. Done quite well. Um, this one here, it's exclusive to the Disney Store in London. Um, it actually says it on its tag. Uh, where have we got? There we go. Exclusive to oh well, yeah yeah exclusive to the Disney Store, Hammersmith London yeah it's sort of on there itself and again if you look at it um, the ma the makers are um well, it's not the makers it's the people who wrote the book what what a silly fool I am. <laughs> Uh, that's me not knowing my teddies too much. I love Tigger as well. Tigger's one of my favourite characters. I should have realised um, it's actually written by them. <laughs> one numpty. Uh, but um, again, good little one here. Oh, it's got a hole in the bottom. So wh wh what is this? Why has it got a hole in the in the bottom? I don't know. If anyone knows why it's got a hole in the bottom of the Tigger sort of on there itself, I'll try and work it out, but I don't really know why. Ah, it's a fairy, isn't it? <laughs> I've just worked out what it is. It's a Christmas tree topper. Yeah, so um, here we go. It's a Tigger Christmas tree topper. So um, now I know what it is, I'm going to start marketing it round about the Christmas time as a Christmas tree topper. Oh, a cool little device. I might even keep it, I never know. So I paid a pound for that. Uh, and then we've got the Me To You Teddies. So, all just basic sort of standard little ones, they're all tagged, some of them have got sort of the boxes. Um, a couple of nice ones which come to come to view. I paid £2 for this one, it's got a nice little winter coat on it, um, on there. That's quite good. I paid £2 for this one because it's a little bit bigger. Um, the special daughter. Yeah, little patches with a blue nose. And um, paid three fifty for this one. Um, with a with the sleigh, little one at the front holding the blue, thing with the pink, pink and purple sort of hoods. Again, lovely condition. Um, pay three fifty. But that one on here, don't know how much they're worth at the moment. It looks like a lot of them are sort of designed for certain things like best grandma. So a lot of these are around about um, Mother's Day sort of thing for spe special mum. So I might hold out. Great, I might just hold out, put them away for a little bit, ready for next Mother's Day, just to come on because they all they all round about those sort of things. 
sort of on their special daughter. Don't really know what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, the first time I sold these teddies, so we'll find out. But <laughs> I'm really chuffed with that. Yeah, so we'll find out what they are. But I've enjoyed my little haul. I say I'm trying to get out of that rut. I'm in a little rut at the moment of just buying the same old thing again and again because I know it sells. So I'm trying to push the boundaries. Um, I'm always selling media and board games. That's why I've just bought some plushes and trying a few little few electrical sort of stuff. I'm just trying to sort of broaden my knowledge sort of coming through. But thanks again. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you liked it. Hope found some information out from it. And um, just keep hunting. Check out Radio Free coming shortly. So I just closed the video off and I'm just going around putting stuff away and I found out I forgot to add this one to my haul video as well. Uh, it's a Quinny Zap travel bag, brand new, um, sealed inside. Um, the only problem is it, it's got some water damage on the outside box, um, which just needs to be dried up a little bit. Um, but all that is still sealed. Everything's still sealed inside there, as it would come to from the factory. So um, I paid £1.50 for this, uh, checked online, round about 20, uh, between £20 and £30 I can get for that. Um, used, they're selling for about £15 to £20, so um, as long as I clean this box up, I'll dry this box up, give it a little bit of a fix up, and um, I might get a little bit more for it. But thanks again, I'll see you later on. See ya.